now, I'm in the workshop of mad genius Garrett Brown. In the 1970s, Garrett invented Steadicam, and movies and TV haven't looked the same since. Once we did that, I actually took the prototype and ran down the Philly Art Museum steps chasing my then girlfriend, now wife. All of a sudden, you're just like a little airplane flying down the steps, you know? And in fact, that's the shot that the director of Rocky saw and called us and said, where are those steps and how did you do that? You know, and a few months later, I was chasing Stallone <laughs> up those same steps. After Rocky, filmmakers went crazy for Steadicam, and Garrett kept fine-tuning and adapting his invention for films like The Shining. I did a, nearly 100 movies in 100 years, it feels like. I did The Shining, which was a lot of fun. We had to invent something called low mode, which is camera on the bottom to film little Danny, you know, running along close to the ground and stuff like that. It's just as easy as that. You flip it upside down. And... I wish it was that easy. In the old days, we actually had to flip the camera and, you know, change a bunch of parts and rehearse that move because Stanley Kubrick asked for it 100 times a day. I'm not a tech head. I mean, I like the results. I like being able to do stuff. I like the way it looks. I like the moving camera. I'm a moving camera junkie. Garrett's addiction to crazy moving shots led him to invent the sky cam. If you've enjoyed a crazy moving bird's eye view of a sporting event, you've probably seen it in action. That now shoots most of the NFL games. Skycam is a camera with electronic stabilizers suspended by four cables. Each cable runs through a computer-controlled pulley system set up high in the corner of the arena. So Skycam can dip, soar, or speed over the action at up to 25 miles per hour. Garrett also designed the Moby Cam for shooting swimmers underwater. That's like a little submarine that runs up the lane line. Very cool shot. And it's actually run by hand by cranks. And the dive cam drops with the divers. That's in a 53-foot tube, and it actually drops by gravity. There's a guy that hauls it up with a string. He watches the diver's pelvis, because you can't look at legs or anything. They fool you. When the pelvis starts dropping, he lets go of the string, and the thing falls in the tube, same rate as the diver. It's very cool. <laughs> Thank you, gravity. You're like the Marines, whether by air, land, or sea, you have a camera system for That's it, right. right? That's right. Now the proud father of all these inventions is going to let me play with his baby. Do I want to put on a superhero suit and have a, a mechanical limb? And yes, I do. Do I get to put on the big one? You get to put on the medium-sized one. What do you think? I'll settle for that. So, um, exactly how tight does it have to be? That tight. Okay. No. This bit. <laughs> No, seriously, should I have breathing room? No. Really? <laughs> breathing room is overrated. <laughs> Welcome to Steadicam Boot Camp. Phase one, get to know your gear. The rig I'm putting on is called the Pilot. It can hold cameras up to 10 pounds. Now, Whoa. bring it back over here. This hand controls the boom height, and you like it right beside yourself like that. This hand strongly controls where it is. So you notice we were kind of flying it wherever we right. went. Right. Whoa. That kind of moves fast. And this hand is just in charge, very light grip. OK. Just in charge of, of pointing it in the right direction. So how's it feel? I feel absolutely no weight, nothing in my back. It feels fine, but I think one of the reasons I feel like I'm giving this a death grip is that the weight on here, it's like I'm afraid that it's going to get away from me. Does that make it's, sense? It's a weird phenomenon. Even this little object is hugely inert. So your hand feels, God, that's big and heavy and yet you feel nothing. So you have to just remind yourself, really light. What do these knobs do on my mechanical arm? Study cam is the only arms that allow you to dial the lift right up very simply. So if I want the arm to lift more, right, I crank these knobs, and boom, see it flies a little higher. If I want it to fly lower, I crank these arms down. So the entire weight range, you can very simply dial up and down, right? These dials control the placement of the springs inside the arm, and that controls how much weight the rig can hold. Springs, people, not computer chips, just old-fashioned springs. That makes this really handy, because you add a heavy lens, boop, 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 dial it up, add a take something off, dial it back down, change cameras. This goes from lifting a camera around three pounds up to 11 pounds, so it's quite a range. So you're really just dialing the weight that it can handle, essentially? Right. Phase one complete. We are moving on to moving. Walk in place, look straight at me, look straight at me. Not a fancy walk, a normal walk. I can walk, but can I chew gum and operate Steadicam at the same time? Only one way to find out. Press the red button. Turn on my monitor here, okay. 
Now you so got, I got a, a picture, view right? here. Yeah, I got a picture. Stabilize everything. Get it stable. Now take a nice brisk walk down there till you get used to doing nothing. Let it fly. Don't let it bump yourself. That's good. That's good. Bye, Joe. I think he's got it. Hey. That looks good. That looks good. What do you good. think? Now stand still and run in place. Leave it aimed right there. Barely touch here. Okay. And run in place and let nothing get through to the shot. This is like packing a month of driver's ed into one afternoon, then hitting the freeway. Try this. Try and fly this with no hands. Let go. Okay. If it comes toward you, lean toward me. Not so much. It takes very little. Lean back a little. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. See that? Look at this. Oh. Hey, look, Ma. No hands. The slightest movement in my abs or in my torso. I can't even talk without really affecting it. That's good. That's very good. It takes a while to get this trick, so you're doing really well with that. It's official. I'm awesome. The Ben Kenobi of Steadicam says so. I'm on to my next You're training. On the next thing, okay. Hold right. here. Okay. Remember, this is what flies it. This merely aims to keep that up high, and good luck following me. Hey, wait a second. Come on. <laughs> stop. And when you stop, don't let it don't let it go nuts. Now follow me. Lower, higher, and don't bank those turns. No. You're not a plane. <laughs> Move like a dolly. Just inexorable. Feel the feel. That's excellent. Excellent. Just feel how that looks. That's really good. Now a little faster and stop right in front of me. <gasps> you have a future, old boy. Yeah? Yeah, if hosting ever goes sour. Let's can... hope not. Okay. All new Steadicam operators get an intensive training course, but there are a few things you can only learn at the foot of the master. Steadicam operators have this thing called the look, all right? Oh, okay. The look, you, you know, because even if it hurts after 20 hours and everything hurts, this is the look. You have this on your face. No it's like it's nothing. nothing. It's nothing. All right, All right. this All time right. I'll do it with Let's the see look. The look. That's right. That's Thank right. you. It's important scientific stuff here. Excellent. Not bad for a Padawan, but let's let the master take us home. Moving the camera dynamically in film used to be an elaborate affair. But Garrett Brown's revolutionary Steadicam system is yet another example of technical ingenuity responding to the needs of artistic vision.